hi welcome to my channel my name is Ada Ugo. in this channel I talk about skincare if you haven't subscribed to my channel please kindly subscribe okay in today's video I'm talking about how whitening cream can never ever fade your dark spots or hyperpigmentation and I'll also be talking about ingredients that will help you fade those dark spots and hyperpigmentation you know those ingredients that you should look out for when you have dark spots and hyperpigmentation as opposed to whitening face cream okay whitening face cream will not do that for you so the mistakes we make sometimes when we have dark spots or hyperpigmentation is us trying to use whitening cream to fade those dark spots and hyperpigmentation one thing i strongly believe over the years of trying different skincare products is that whitening cream can never ever fade your dark spots it can never ever help with hyperpigmentation what whitening cream actually does to those dark to your face or to the hyperpigmentation or to the dark spots is that it makes you whiter meanwhile the dark spots are still there that's why sometimes you see some people that are trying to fade dark spots but they get whiter and whiter with those dark spots being on their face Look at this picture on the screen here. This is my face when I was using whitening face creams to try to treat dark spots on my face. As you can see from this picture, I got lighter, I got whiter, but the dark spots are still there. The underlying problems are still there. Whitening creams can never ever sort out the issues of dark spots on your face. Okay, why is it so? It is so because whitening cream wasn't made or created to help fade dark spots. It wasn't created or made to help with your hyperpigmentation. It wasn't created or made to help fade melasma on your face. No, it wasn't created for that. It was created just for whitening cream. And uh, if you're in Nigeria, that, there is this thing that a lot of skincare sellers this mistake that I actually, they actually make when it comes to dark spots. When you're having dark spots in Nigeria, for example, I, I want to believe that I have so many people watching me from different countries, and countries, but I'm using Nigeria as an example because when, when you have pimples in Nigeria, when you have dark spots in Nigeria, when you go to the market to buy maybe cream or lotion that can help with those conditions, when you get to the market, these people will give you the same face cream that they give to people that have pimples. If you have melasma, they will give you the same face cream they give to someone that has pimples. They give you the same face cream they give to someone that has dark spots. At the end of this, day, on the end of the day, these things will not work. It only makes you get lighter. You get me? So, if you're actually using dark, uh, if you're actually using whitening cream to trick dark spots, then you're on, on a long thing because it's not going to actually do anything for your dark spots it will get you whiter but those dark spots will never fade because when it comes to whitening cream once you stop using them they come back those issues even if it's fades them a bit they come back it doesn't solve the underlying issues at all if you're using whitening cream just trust me once you stop it the dark spots are there I'm telling you the truth. It gives you the illusion that it's actually, it's actually working for your dark spots, but it is not working for your dark spots, okay? I'm going to talk to you guys now about the ingredients that you should look out for when you have dark spots to correct, when you have hyperpigmentation to correct, when you have melasma to correct, okay? Then, in the next section of this video, I will be talking about the brands, I will show you guys the brands that have these ingredients that you should look out for that you can actually get if you have these dark spots, okay? So, when it comes to dark spots, number one thing that can actually help with fading out dark spots is hydroquinone. Trust me guys, hydroquinone is not as bad as people say it is there is nothing bad when it comes to hydroquinone in fact dermatologists and doctors recommend hydroquinone for you if you're having dark spots or any kind of hyper stuff hyperpigmentation so it's all about knowing how to use these things if you, if you use them very very well if you use them very well according to how you've been asked to use them then you have no issue at all it will be very effective. So hydroquinone, if you're looking out for 
to, if you're looking out to fade dark spots, hyperpigmentation, look for hydroquinone. Look for, even if it is prescription hydroquinone, in some countries, it can be prescribed to you. Why in some countries, you can get it over the counter, okay? So, those in Nigeria, you guys can always get it over, over the counter. There are so many people that are selling this, but just be careful when you use it, okay? There's nothing wrong, absolutely wrong in using hydroquinone. It's going to help fade your dark spots very, very fast. This uh, Number two ingredient I want to talk about is transamic acid. This one is very, very, very effective too in fading dark spots, okay? And hyperpigmentation. There are so many products that have it now. When you see products that make this and you are lucky to get have other melanin inhibitors in them, then you're on your way to fading your hyperpigmentation. Niacinamide can help fade your hyperpigmentation. Kojic acid, alpha albertin, liquorice root, lactic acid, one of my best exfoliating acids, can actually help to fade your dark spots and hyperpigmentation. There are so many more ingredients like mulberry, but these are the ones that are readily available that you can easily get. These are the ingredients that are readily available in some of these products or some of these brands I'm about to talk about now that you can actually easily get. Okay, so you are going to, if you are lucky to get a product that has the combination of all these things, then you're going to fade your dark spots so quickly and faster. Okay, than using one single ingredient at a time so if you can get the ones that have combination of all these things trust me your hyperpigmentation will be gone your dark spots will be gone and when it comes to these guys do not have unrealistic expectation like i always say do not be unrealistic when it comes to your skincare goals give it time give it about two months because dark spots and hyperpigmentation on their own takes at least about two months for you to start seeing drastic changes, okay? Some people just want quick fix, you know? They just want to use it today and see results tomorrow. It doesn't work like that. Skincare doesn't work like that. That's why so many people end up getting whitening cream. And whitening cream, you can't use it long term. This particular ingredient that I've listed, is there's something you can actually use long term without any issues. You can keep using them, okay? But whitening cream, you have limitations on how to use them and when to use them. But with these ones, you can always use them without any side effects, without getting more light, whiter, you know? But it's going to address the underlying issues of this hyperpigmentation and dark spots. So products or brands that actually make these um, ingredients, I'll be leaving them here on my screen. You'll be seeing the pictures of these products here on my screen. The number one on the list, first of all, number one on the list is Hydroquinone. No, we have so many companies that make Hydroquinone. Uh, prescription so no particular no particular company comes to mind just get it they usually make it about four percent right i'll have some of the pictures of these brands on the screen here okay just get the ones you can get if you can't get them ask your dermatologist to prescribe them for you then you get it and start using it they work trust me you just have to know how to use them. I can actually make a video telling you how to use your hydroquinone, but this video is not all about. It's not about how to use them. It's just the product. So I will actually make it a, a separate video on how you can actually use your hydroquinone without any issues. So azelaic acid. We have so many brands that make azelaic acid these days. This is but this is the one I use now. Twenty percent one from Skin Oren. But there are so many brands that make azelaic acid. And you know that azelaic acid is a good melanin inhibitor. The one from Polar Choice actually has 10% azelaic acid in it with liquorice root and salicylic acid in it. And you know that liquorice root helps, is also a melanin inhibitor. Azelaic acid is also a great melanin inhibitor that helps with dark spot and hyperpigmentation. When these two are combined together, that's what I say when it comes to this kind, when it, when it comes to hyperpigmentation, you want to look for loss, um, a product 
that combines many of these melanin inhibitors okay so if you can get azelic acid that has other inhibitors in there melanin inhibitors in them then that is a very good one but at this moment i just finished using the one from the matisha i'll leave it here up here that one is very gentle it is also 20 percent trust me Mel uh, trust me azelic acid is a great melanin inhibitor that will help with your dark spots and hyperpigmentation over time but at the moment this is what i'm sticking to i really like it i'm enjoying it so when it comes to koji cassie if you can get brands like garden of wisdom that had that combined koji acid and alpha albutin even niacinamide in that particular serum they also have vitamin c derivative inside it to help fight dark spots and hyperpigmentation if you can get it it's also a very good one because it has lots of melanin inhibitors that can help brighten the skin and help fade dark spots okay thus bright and clear cream has azelic acid in it it has kojic acid in it it has niacinamide in it and it has trinazemic acid in it this is a great combo if you are interested in fading your dark spots then this asian brand called cause de baja it has a product one of their products contains trisomic acid five percent with niacinamide that is a combination that can actually help fight dark spots and they have another product of them that contains hydroquinone in it three percent hydroquinone for those that cannot get the prescription one that want over the counter one this their product contains hydroquinone 3%, niacinamide, lactic acid, alpha albutin, salicylic acid. This particular product contains lots of melanin inhibitors. I don't see the reason why you use this product and it will fade your dark spots because it has everything that you need in them. Polar shies also make 2% hydroquinone with glycolic acid in it. It also has another one that has 2% hydroquinone that has salicylic acid in it. So if I'm going to be looking for, if you want to fade that with an hyperpigmentation, just keep looking for these ingredients that have combination of lots of melanin inhibitors, maybe two or three more melanin inhibitors in them, okay? And lactic acid, even if you, even if you do not see, when, you, when it comes to lactic acid, even if you do not see the one that have other combinations in them just because of how because it's, it is acid it might be a bit sensitive although some people some companies combine lactic acid to all these other melanin inhibitors just like cause the baha that has lactic acid in their product okay even if you do not see even if you do not see the lactic acid that has other melanin inhibitors in them you can get lactic acid on their own and use it with help free dark spots over time by exfoliating your face i use 50 percent lactic acid at the moment okay and the one the brand the brand that i use to be on the screen here it that one has um some antioxidants in them also and trust me since i started using it my face has become more brighter another product you can look out for is faded by tropicals it has Transamic acid in it, azelic acid in it, kojic acid in it. I don't know if it, I think it has alpha albutin in it. There's so many people talking about this particular one on the internet um, that it helps to fade their dark spots. I haven't used it, I haven't tried it, but it has at least, it has about 60% positive reviews on it helping to fade dark spots. And I believe with all the combination that it has, all the melanin combinations that it has, if your skin can tolerate it, trust me. It's going to help fade your dark spots the last but not the least is the one i'm leaving this one for the last because it's quite expensive it's called melatam i don't know if i pronounce it very well but that is what it's called um if you can actually afford to buy it trust me this is a very good lightening product that can help not just lighten dark spots not just help not just lighten hyperpigmentation but also help lighten and brighten your face it has lactic acid in it it has kojic acid in it it has alpha albutin in it it has niacinamide in it it has vitamin c in it name them it has so many of these beautiful ingredients in in it another one i want to ship in is vitamin c serum 
you know, vitamin C serum might not actually fade your dark spots or hyperpigmentation per se. But what it's going to do is that it's going to help prevent them from appearing in the first place. You know, it's going to actually help fight them because, you know, vitamin C is an antioxidant. And what it, ha it does is to help fight free radicals. And, you know, sometimes the dark spots that we get on our face or hyperpigmentation that we get on our face is as a result of free radicals from environmental pollution. So if you have vitamin C serum in your routine, it's going to actually help. It's going to actually help with those dark spots. Vitamin C serum will not magically help fade them all out, but I promise it's going to actually help um fade the dark spots oh i forgot to mention this product okay okay this is the last product i'll be mentioning so this is a japanese product okay it has tranexamic acid in it it has liquorice root in it it also has one of those uh, vitamin c derivatives in it to help brighten the skin this is the particular one i'm actually using at the moment so it has combination of these melanin inhibitors in, in it so just like other products that I've mentioned, this one, I, I, I do not have need for other ones since I have this one. Unless this one doesn't serve me because this one I've only been using it for about one week now. I can't say so much about it at the moment. But it has all those things I've just mentioned in it to help fight hyperpigmentation. So while looking for products to help fight hyperpigmentation, do not try to look for single products. Look for products that have combinations of melanin inhibitors and when you're fighting hyperpigmentation and dark spots you should be looking for melanin inhibitors not necessarily whitening cream because whitening cream is not long term but this ingredient that i've mentioned so far is long term something you can always use without getting green veins without getting yourself burnt do you get me and the the last the last thing i want to mention is that with all these things make sure you use your sunscreen if you don't use sunscreen Seriously, sunscreen was supposed to even be the number one I should have mentioned because with sunscreen, you prevent your face from getting more darker, you prevent your face from developing melasma, you prevent your face from developing very much darker dark spots. Do you get me? That is what sunscreen will do for you, apart from the um, anti aging and protecting you from free radicals and the sun. This is what it's going to help you do also. So, I'm supposed to even put sunscreen first, but because I actually skipped my mind, always remember to wear your sunscreen if you're fighting hyperpigmentation and if you're also fighting dark spots, okay? And this is all for today. If I do not want this video to get long, but subsequent time, I'll keep updating you guys on products that have this ingredient. So to avoid this video getting so long, I'll be stopping here, but bear in mind that we have other skincare products or other skincare brands that have these ingredients in them okay so let's just say i'm gonna update you guys in the future about some of these brands but for now let's make deal with this one till i see you guys next time thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel you are wrong why not subscribe to your girl's channel help my channel grow ask your questions in the comment section i will always answer you like this video subscribe guys subscribe thank you guys always for watching me like this is a privilege <laughs> to have 1000 something people watching me oh god can't believe this <laughs> thank you very much guys thank you thank you very much subscribe to my channel see you guys next time all right bye <laughs>